Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to analyze your Likert scale using uh, one-way analysis of variance, that is one-way ANOVA. Uh, so uh, once we calculate the, the mean score of the, of, of the scale, uh, we are going to start the analysis. I want to analyze uh, the level, that is the level of uh, students from uh, S2 to S6 uh, and their motivation. Does the level, uh, for example, have an influence on their motivation? So I have a motivation scale that is computed in terms of the mean score. You can find the, the video to how to calculate the mean score in the description box below. And uh, once we calculate the, the mean score of the Likert scale, we start the analysis. So we go to analyze, uh, then we go to compare means, and we go for one way and over. For the one-way ANOVA, I'm going to move the motivation scale uh, to the dependent list and the uh, level uh, to the factor list, all right? And then we can go for contrast. We can leave it like this for post hoc. So there are for uh, some post hoc tests in case equal variance is assumed and post hoc tests in case equal variance is not assumed, for example, 2K. In case uh, you have the sample size uh, different from one sample to another, so you have to check the assumptions of each test, like the significant difference between Ferroni test, Chiefe test, etc., etc. And so I choose uh, 2K here, and for the equal variance is not assumed, choose Games Howell because it does not have a lot of assumptions. Significance level is set at 0.05. Click Continue. Uh, for the options, I can choose Descriptives. Uh, homogeneity of variance test because we need to see the homogeneity of variance if we can uh, go further with the analysis means plot and then click continue and then click OK so in the output uh, we can see here the mean the the groups and their means we can so according to the mean you can see that there is somehow a difference between the means and so we are going to check whether this difference is statistically significant or not so we go to the ANOVA test for the motivation scale between groups and within groups so the SIG value that is the p-value is 0 0.03 uh, so this value is less than the alpha level that we said earlier which is 0 0.05 so therefore there is statistically significant difference between uh, the level of students and their motivation but we don't know uh, which group has more motivation which group has less motivation so we can go to the post hoc test uh, and look at the SIG value for each one in which in case we find it uh, less than 0.05 we can assume that there is difference for example between uh, 4 and 6 semesters uh, in terms of motivation and then uh, because like this is like multiple t-test so uh, this is how it works for the games how test to check the assumptions also you can say they find it again between the, f the fourth semester and the sixth semester so this is these are the groups in which there is difference in terms of motivation anyway but so we want to uh, see whether we can adopt this model or not so we check the variance okay so where is the variance i saw it just somewhere here so the test of homogeneity of variance so uh, here its uh, level is less than 0.05 this means that there is statistically significant difference in terms of the variance so there is no homogeneity of variance so we, we are not going to uh, adopt the model because there is a, a high likelihood that we're going to make type 1 or type 2 errors in terms of uh, interpreting uh, the hypothesis or interpreting the results all right so we can what uh, shall we do now we are going to use the non-parametric post hoc test instead of the one-way analysis of variance so uh, again we are going to go to analyze uh, non-parametric tests and go to uh, legacy dialogues and choose key independent samples all right so i'm going to move again self-confidence to the test uh, uh, variable and level to the grouping variable in this case i'm going to define the range from one to five and see what will happen all right so it's more or less the same so it's the same result so we're not going to go on with the uh, with this so we are going to conclude that the, the null hypothesis is uh, 
uh, retained and we cannot reject the null hypothesis that states that there is statistically significant difference between the five groups in terms of their motivation. If you have questions or you need assistance with data analysis, try to contact me via one of my social media below and see you in another tutorial.